Welcome to the Clearway Fiber Training for the Yi-Link T53W handset. In this video, you'll learn the basic navigation and use of your new Yi-Link handsets. We're going to start off in the middle of the phone with the dial pad. This is where you enter any numerical input such as phone numbers or extensions. This is also where I tell you about the dialing pattern. With this system, you do not need to dial a 9 to get an outside line, but our phone system does presume 10 digit dialing. That means you will want to enter the area code as well as the phone number whenever you call outside of your office network, just like you do with a cell phone. The nice part about a cloud based phone system like ours is there's no such thing as domestic long distance. You don't have to dial a 1 before you make a long distance call and you aren't billed extra for calls within the continental US. If you must call a number that is less than 10 digits, such as an internal extension, you may notice the phone will pause, waiting for the other digits to come. You can force the phone to dial this shortened number by pressing the pound key after you've entered the digits. Now let's talk about a couple of these hard-coded keys that you have available. We have the mute key, which will indicate on the screen whenever you need to mute should you have to sneeze or cough. At the bottom is the speakerphone key. Use this to toggle speakerphone on or off. A suggestion when using speakerphone is stay as much front and center to your phone as possible. If you move too far to either side or behind the phone, the speakerphone mic might not pick up your audio. Finally, if you have a headset to attach to your phone, the headset key will move your calls through the headset itself. The other hard code keys you can use are the voicemail key, which is an icon that looks like an envelope. Your hold and your transfer keys will appear on the phone screen associated with the context sensitive soft keys. With this phone system, you can manage multiple calls. To place a call on hold, you can press the hold key. When a call is on hold, information about the held call appears on the display. It will show you the caller ID information as well as the amount of time the call has spent on hold. You can manage up to three concurrent calls with these devices, so your display may show more than one call. To toggle between multiple calls, use the navigation keys on the right side of your keypad. To resume a call, you can press the hold key again. This makes the selected held call your active call. There is no time limit to restrict how long you can keep someone on hold. Now let's talk about how to transfer calls to another party. To transfer a caller to another extension or phone number, press the transfer soft key. A consultative transfer is the first thing that we're going to discuss, which is the default mode. This is sometimes called an announced transfer or a warm transfer, and it will allow you to talk to the transferee before you send the call over to them. While on the active call, press the transfer key, not the hold key. Using the transfer key places the call on a transfer hold. Next, use the dial pad to enter the extension where you would like to transfer the caller and then press the pound or the send key in order to initiate the call. At this point, the other line begins to ring and when the person picks up, you can have a conversation with them. Your caller, by the way, is still on hold. When the other party is ready for the transfer, press the transfer button again, making the call on hold the new active call for the recipient. During the transfer, you have a couple of options. Pressing cancel will take the call back, making it your active call again. This is useful if the party you are trying to reach cannot or will not take the call. You can also transfer directly to voicemail by dialing star 55 and then following the audio prompts to enter the extension of the voicemail you are trying to reach. Next, let's talk about blind transfers, which could also be referred to as a cold transfer. This is a transfer where you do not interact with the next party. To complete this transfer, press and hold the transfer soft key for a couple of seconds. Then select the blind option. Enter the extension, 
then press send or the pound key. At this point, the call is bound for the next party and you are no longer part of it. Now let's do a brief comparison between the transfer modes. So as a reminder, the consultative transfer mode allows you to announce the caller to the recipient. It lets you cancel out of the transfer with the cancel key and it allows you to transfer directly to voicemail with star 55. Whereas the blind transfer forwards the inbound caller ID to the next party and provides fewer options, so it's a faster transfer method. One thing to note about transfers is either transfer method can send a call to any number that can be dialed. You're not limited to in-network transfers, so you can transfer to an external number like somebody's cell phone if necessary. Now, let's go ahead and talk about voicemail. To set up voicemail for the first time, press the envelope hard key. The automated system will walk you through the setup process in performing tasks such as setting up your PIN, recording your name, and then providing options for customizing outgoing messages. This setup process only takes a few minutes. The message waiting indicator is a red light on top of the phone. Its blinking will let you know when you have a new message. To retrieve the messages, simply press the envelope key again and follow the audio prompts. The voicemail system has about 20 minutes of recording capability, so it's important to delete messages that you no longer need by pressing the 7 key. This will help ensure you have sufficient space to record new incoming messages. Now let's talk about the last few buttons on this phone. The navigation keys, we talked about a little bit already, allows you to interact with the menus and options on the display screen. You can press up, down, left, and right, and select with the center button. And finally, the soft keys are at the bottom of the display screen. These four soft keys are context sensitive, and they control how you can do most everything with the phone, transfer, holds, accessing personal directories, viewing your call log, it's all here. Now, most of the soft keys are fairly self-explanatory, but there are two in particular that I like to cover. D&D, or Do Not Disturb, is a button visible when the phone is in an idle state. It places your phone in a mode where incoming calls are routed as if you were busy going to voicemail. The display will change slightly to let you know that you are not accepting calls. Simply press D&D &D to return it back. Recent firmware updates have moved the D&D &D key to the second page of the soft keys. Accessing this page will require another key. Sometimes you may see a key labeled more. More lets you know that there are additional functions available, as in more than four. Pressing this key doesn't do anything on its own, but will change the labels of the other three soft keys to reveal these additional options. Functions such as hold, transfer, and voicemail can be accessed via soft keys, hard keys, or menu buttons as desired. The system doesn't have a preference. Lastly, the soft keys are context sensitive and only the functions available in that mode will appear. For instance, if you're on a call, you will see hold and transfer, but if you're not on a call, you will not see the hold and transfer options.